Yes, hi, good afternoon, and uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity to say a few words, Al. And uh, hello to all of you from all over the different points of the compass. I'm coming at you from Donna Autumn Community College, the southernmost of all the tribal colleges, about 25 miles north of the Mexican border in traditional Autumn territory that stretches all the way to the Gulf of uh, California and down into the Sierra Madre through the state of Sonora. Anyway, uh, we have been really fortunate uh, starting in November of 2017. I think we were the first of all the tribal colleges that were visited by Al Kuslikas and his team. They ultimately came for three different visits. And uh, when they, well, I think they had quite a surprise when they got here to see, well, maybe it wasn't, but anyway, we were in, we were in need of a lot of help. Uh, Donna Autumn Community College has tripled our enrollment in the last five years. We're still small, but imagine that growth along with the ever-growing penetration of the Internet of Things, a network that was truly a nearly impenetrable accretion over a period of a dozen years under a rapidly changing cadre of managers, dependence on several pricey outside vendors for support, and a sole for-profit Internet provider that asked us in all seriousness why would you need more bandwidth? You're a college. <clears throat> Not surprising, uh, employees were concerned about the speed or lack thereof in their work on Genzibar. Our network went down regularly and occasionally for a day or more. We just weren't making much progress. When, Alan, uh, when we heard Alan and his team were looking to visit, uh, we jumped on the opportunity. Um, RCI is hardly recognizable now, just in a few short years since, 20, since the end of 2017. Now we know what we have, largely to the work of that team and the collaboration they have provided to us. Our provider knows what we have now. It turned out they and we had very different ideas of what we actually had. What I'm describing might not be that surprising to many of you. Many of you may have similar kinds of situations where you're at. Uh, when the a team arrived, we were paying $3,300 a month including two charges for 10 megabytes of ethernet and two charges for 50 megabytes, 3,300 a month. The team at the time recommended going to 100 megs for double the cost. But since that site visit, uh, we had additional interactions with our provider. And uh, as a matter of fact, when the team was here, they also met with our provider. I think that really helped uh, impress our provider about the importance of uh, this effort and and that yes, as a college, we actually do need import, uh, speedy bandwidth and so on. And so uh, we had a number of high level meetings and uh, we significantly uh, reduced, they reduced their price. Now we're at 250 megs, which is about the standard, I guess, for tribal colleges based on the work that the team has done around the country. And so for us, it's really a great thing. It's a still high, high cost of 6,000 a month but, uh, but we're really a lot happier with it. Uh, our network is stable, outages are few and short-lived. Nobody complains about slow connections anymore. We have a ways to go, of course. Thanks to the team, we have a roadmap of how to get to where we wanna be. One of the spinoffs and the involvement of the CI team has been the, our membership in the consortium with Dene, NTU and NAU with the goal of developing ability to handle large amounts of data for STEM fields and a goal of joining Internet2 and to work with Sun Corridor, which is the internet provider for Internet2 in Arizona. Um, network and bandwidth were important and critical improvements. Team members also encouraged us to automate things, and that prompted us to use more modules in Genzibar, including advising module, the master document frame. We're, uh, we're starting to work in the billing module. Uh, they really encourage us to uh, to do things in a more automated fashion. And uh, I think we learned how to work and collaborate better with uh, outside folks. And we have identified some people who have been very helpful to us, perhaps as a spinoff, kind of the things that we learned uh, along the way in visiting with the team. And as a result, we have, uh, we now have the ability to uh, issue students their ID and uh, their password when they apply for college here, and we hadn't had that. And so you can imagine during this time of COVID, that would be a real problem. So we've, we've moved forward in a lot of different areas. And I, I've never, um, I, I guess it's just really great that, uh, that AHEC and the, the team is doing this. And it's, it's really helped us a great deal. And I imagine it's helped uh, uh, many of the other tribal colleges as well. Thank you.